Okay, seven minutes are up. We're warmed up. We're feeling good. It's time to move into our workout of the day. Workout of the day. It's actually got a very similar feel to what we did last week when we did Chief. If we remember, uh, we had five rounds where we worked for three minutes and we rested for one, right? So the whole idea there is you work hard and steady for three minutes and then you get to rest for one. And we've done the similar formats with this in an EMOM style where we work every minute on the minute, well, that's not going to be the case today. In this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to work out in such a way that we're going to go through two movements. Now for the body weight version, we're going to do 30 setups. Then we're going to go into 20 alternating jump lunges or 20 lunges if those alternating jump lunges are too much. And then right into a hand release push ups. So with that, our sit-ups, we've reviewed this before, but we'll go through that again. When we're down on the ground, right? Feet together, hands behind our head to the floor, hands to the floor, right? We're coming ahead and shoulder meets that hip crease every time. That's a full rep. If that's too much, we can keep those legs apart. If we want to tuck those under a couch or under some dumbbells, that's your choice. So we would work through 30 of those immediately after you're done those sit-ups you will go into your jumping lunges 20 of these careful with that knee as we're coming down if you doing those jumping lunges is too much then we will go into a forward lunge and getting that knee to the ground all right so the timer's been running you've just done your 30 sit-ups you've done your 20 alternating lunges or your jump alternating lunges, preferably the jump. Now, the remainder of that time, it's hand release push-up time. This would be what we would call almost consider like a gym nasty workout because hand release push-ups are a little bit trickier animal. We're down on the ground, shoulders stacked over top of those hands, right? And we're coming down, hands come off the ground every time. So that way we guarantee our chest makes full contact and we push it up and we're down and we're up. If that's too much to do those, that style, again, we still have that option. Keep those knees on the ground and push it up. All right. Your score is going to be the total number of hand release push-ups you do across those five rounds. So hand release push-ups are great because they force us to build tension from zero tension and push right up. Um, that is a great progression towards working towards handstand push-ups. Uh, it also requires a little bit of attention to detail with those. Don't drop too, too fast. We don't want to see anyone bonk their nose on the ground. So with that, good luck. I hope you score lots of hand release push-ups. I'm guessing you're probably going to see anywhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 25 every round if you're doing this model. So good luck with that. Push the pace. No stopping for drinks of the water bottle when you're working for that three minutes. You've got a minute rest in between. After that, you start right back over again. You would go through your 30 sit-ups, your 20 jumping lunges, and then as many hand release push-ups as you can and just record that number so you can total them and submit your score with that nice, sweaty, smiling selfie tomorrow, okay? Lots of smiles. Always smile while you're working out. It takes a lot less muscles to smile than it does to frown.